Happy Memorial Day, everybody. It's a great day, a day that we're honoring, reflecting, and remembering many of those who have gone on, and we salute all of our soldiers out there and people like you that are making a difference. Well, today in Studio 236 of FMHDMS, I am delighted to be able to have one of the Alpha Brothers that is here. Six. Yes, that is here to talk about uh, his organization and this awesome oratorical contest on Sunday, June 7th, that I'm going to be one of the judges. I am humbly honored that uh, Mr. David Poindexter and this dear brother who is the treasurer of the organization asked Simone Malone to be there to support uh, these three young individuals that are competing in an oratorical contest on Sunday, June 7th. So I want to welcome uh, Bruce to uh, FMHDMS. We were on the radio together, had a great time. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. It was my it was my first time. Uh, first time on radio? Just, just a little nervous, but you know, <laughs> as a conversation, you know, flowed. It got right. a little easier. Right. Well, before we get into the meat of this conversation, tell me about a little bit about who you are, born and raised from, uh, what you went to college for, and what you do professionally. Okay. I'm Robert Bruce Hill, Jr. Uh, everyone knows me as Bruce. If you call me Robert, it may, it may take me a couple times <laughs> to answer, but it's all right. Um, I'm a native of West Philadelphia, yes. born and raised. I uh, graduated from West Catholic in 2006, Go Burrs. I'm also a 2011 graduate of Drexel University. Drexel U! Drexel <laughs> Dragons. I uh, got my bachelor's degree in accounting, and currently I am an internal auditor for a risk consulting and global firm. Um, involves a lot of travel, so I get to see some pretty cool places. Got a good job. It's a great job. Your it's education good, pays off. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> and going to a good college. It does. <laughs> accounting. You can't go wrong with numbers. That's right. Um, and I'm also in the funeral industry. I'm a funeral student at the Academy, Academy McAllister Institute wow. of Funeral Service up in New York. Um, you know, frankly, I've been in the funeral industry for uh, 12 years now, since I was 15 years old. Great. So that's where I am. Work with the living, and you want to... Work with the day. I'll take care of your finances while you're living here and you're gone. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect plan. So let's talk about, you are a member of the Alpha Phi Alpha organization. I am. And I asked you on the radio, so I want people who are watching a live video, to, I want to know, what was your line name? My line name was Wall Street. Now, you could probably base why it was called Wall Street, right? Because he's a business person, went to an Ivy League type of school, like West Catholic, right? West Catholic. And went to Drexel, which is like top here in Philadelphia. Um, I see why they called you Wall Street. Because Brother Wall Street. You know, it, 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 it's a good name. I laughed at it at first. But when I look back at it, it all makes sense. Right. It all makes so, sense. So that's great. And congratulations for all of your accomplishments. You're, you're, you're making a difference, and I'm proud of you. Thank so you. that that ties into uh, this great organization that you are the treasurer of and, and what you're doing now. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're involved in presently through the organization? Okay. So Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Road Chapter, uh, with the uh, chapter that I'm affiliated with here in the city of Philadelphia, we have a nonprofit organization called the Road Education Foundation. And the Road Education Foundation, sir, is an endowment fund where we raise scholarship funds that the chapter, Road Chapter, gives out to high school students and as well as in the uh, brothers who are co college students uh, currently uh, in, you know, in various amounts, you know, for their academic performance, 3.0 or GPA or higher, you know, alpha. It's got to be uh, a plus. Courage, scholarship, That's all right. alphas smart. Um, and then also for young men who are uh, in sixth through eighth grade to buy books because we know buying books here in the city of Philadelphia is kind of scarce, you know, given that the public school system just don't exactly. have the adequate amount of books to make sure that the students mm -hmm. are, you know, you know, learning accordingly. Okay. That's great. Now, when did the organization start with this whole idea of wanting to give back to outstanding uh, individuals who can be a part of the oratorical contest? Well, this is something that's always been done, uh, on, you know, by the fraternity on a national level. However, we, the Road Chapter, brought it here four years ago to bring it to high school students because we felt that it would, it's a great opportunity to start developing young men their oratorical skills before they even get to college. Yes. So we felt that it would be fitting to allow them to even compete as the brothers do on the collegiate level, take the same topic that the fraternity designates every year and allow them to take that topic and run with it. And generally, you know, the topics are co quite complex, but over the history of the uh, oratorical contest, they have taken on the same topics that the brothers in the college <clears throat> arena have taken on as well, too. Good. So those are some tough topics. I hear tough you. Topics. So, so to all of you parents out there, to some of you high school students that are watching this, because I know you listen to Simone Malone and you support what we do, 
If they are interested, they can apply for the next one. Is for that correct? So because we're having this one on June 7th. June 7th. Okay. So uh, the next round of applications for the 2016 oratorical contest will be distributed in January of 2016. But okay. stay tuned for more information okay. by visiting our website, Go ahead and give dot com and you can uh it'll be listed on our announcements page but you can also go to our page and just stay in tuned as to what the uh road chapter alphas are doing right give that website one more time please road 1914.com road 1914.com absolutely i got it road 1914.com and there at that website uh parents can uh or, or people who would like to donate for this for next year next can year. do that can do that through uh, through the website as well. You can uh, go to the contact us page where you'll see our PO box. Our PO box is three four five seven seven Philadelphia PA one nine one zero one, and then also the email addresses that are, that are listed to get in contact with uh, members of the organization as well. Right. So, people, family, we want you to support this organization that's making a difference. Um, I'm going to support them. Um, not even just giving a donation, but also taking in uh, one of the uh, contestants who will win this oratorical contest to be uh, spotlighted here at FMHDMS. But go to that website. This is about pouring into uh, some young man's future. And uh, you can give a, a donation no matter how small. Uh, they would greatly appreciate it to pour into someone's life as they go on to college. They need those monies. And also, it's for a worthy cause. So we definitely want you to support them. And come on out on Sunday, June 7th. I'm going to be there along with some other great colleagues that's going to be judging uh, these three individuals. Uh, the, the Alpha organization, Alpha Phi Alpha, is doing a tremendous work, not just locally, but globally. And uh, we, we thank them for all of the efforts as well. What else do you want to share to the listeners and viewers out there about this whole mission and vision that you have? Well, I think that the biggest thing is Alpha Phi Alpha, we promote scholarships. So scholarship comes in many forms and development of young men. Uh, here in the Philadelphia area, the three alumni chapters, Road Chapter, Zeta Omicron Lambda, and then Omicron Delta Lambda, we host uh, monthly the Alpha Leadership Academy where we have young men from 6th through 8th grade and then from ninth through 12th grade where we meet with them and go through a series of topics and self-development workshops, academic skills, uh, and just provide them with all the necessities that they need so they can become productive, you know, collegiate, academic, scholarly men in this world. I like that. Scholarly men. Communication is so effective. How you speak, how you carry, how you present yourself is so, so key. Do you want to say hello to anyone special? Hello, mom. My mother, she's a great supporter. You know, without my mother, you know, none of this will uh, be possible. Right. As a young man, she would always tell me, stand up for your rights. You can do whatever it is that you want to and do. And you are doing it. And I'm doing just that. <laughs> you know, I, didn't have, I didn't have a choice. So, mom, thank you. And then to the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, oh, six brothers, we've been doing this work for 109 years. Wow. This year, December 4th, we'll be celebrating our 110th anniversary. That's going to be big. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Alphas, you know, we are the leaders. You know, our motto is, first of all, you know, servants of all. We shall transcend all. We have been doing that, and we will continue to do that. Right. I like that keyword, servant. I am a servant. I think they might adopt Simone. Uh, I was saying it on the radio. The feel good man. It's going to be my line name. Consistent branding. What you think? <laughs> Anyhow, we thank you so much, Bruce, for joining us. Thank you. Did you have a good time with us today? I did. Thank you for spotlighting the uh, Alpha Phi Alpha yes. Road Chapter and the Road Education Foundation for spotlighting the work that we're doing. And yes. we're looking forward to having you as a, as a judge for a rhetorical contest. It is my pleasure. So once again, give the website that people can donate and find out more about the organization. Road1914.com. Great. Have a great day, everybody. Remember the road in front of you. It's shorter than the road in back of you, so make the best of your life each day. Make deposits into somebody else's life. I always say that when you give to others, God is going to give to you. So have a good one. Thank you once again. Thank you. Let's wave at everybody. Take care of yourself. Don't eat too much. And I'll talk to you on the radio weekdays, 9 a.m. to 11, right here at FMHDMS. Peace and blessings be upon you. Bye-bye.